The villagers were kind and gave me all of the enchantments that we need for our god armor and tools. To show appreciation for them being so kind, we're building a mega structure trading hall. Something that we can see from build height. Today, we're going to be working on the lower courtyard of the place, and this one is going to be a detailed, beautiful structure. But obviously, you need blocks to build, and we kind of don't have any. Okay, why hello there everybody, Yo, welcome back episode 5 I think, and uh, okay so we got a lot of comments, so uh, finally on this video you know, uh, the previous two episodes have gone live, read all of your guys' inputs on everything, I didn't really see anyone talk about this so I'm just gonna <laughs> assume that I'm making you know the, the right choice to actually build this place. Uh, Thank God I wrote down the signs, but I think I remember like everything that I was doing for this place. Like, you know, we want everything to be 10 blocks tall, blah, blah, blah. Another thing I just want to address right now. Don't worry. Darman will be playing with me. Don't worry. Um, I need to figure out how to do that because like I, I really don't know how. So we, we just need to figure out all of that. But I think with Darman, uh, I'm going to play with him once we make like a little bit more progress on here especially to get him like tools because like i, I want to have like you know fully enchanted everything for him whenever he joins but i think i'm gonna torture him and he's only gonna be joining when i need to go and do like a lot of resource gathering and oh my god would you look at this project i'm gonna need to do a whole lot of resource gathering and i think me and him like we're just gonna go around and like manually dig a 100 by 100 hole like i i think that's like the best uh idea for everything Another comment that you guys were leaving a lot was about uh, mules, how apparently if I give them speed potions and then like I breed them while they have the effect active, the baby would have the like the speed uh, from the potions as well, but like they wouldn't have a potion on them, like they'd just naturally be fast. However, I believe that's only bedrock edition. This is Java. Thank you so much Mojang for making that so confusing for like 99% of the players because that's the stupidest idea that any game creator could ever make, but that's besides the point. Um, but yeah, like I, I don't think that works on my version and I also don't think that it just works anymore in general. Now, very good news. I have a very, very good idea on what I want to build for this place. I think first we need to go through the courtyard stuff because I don't want to have too many of these walls everywhere to where it's just going to become unbearably confusing. So I think we just need to go through and, you know, and, uh, finish everything that we currently have. And okay, I got to mention it again. So I got this from Berserk. <laughs> there was this one, like in one of the chapters in there, like there's this really cool looking uh, cathedral by this like very weird priest. I know, shocker. And I love like this, like a, uh, like this, like crossway intersection that it has. So I think that's what I'm going to be building for it. Uh, I'm hoping that I can remember that. I doubt I'm going to forget it, but yeah, we need to go through and actually start uh, building all this stuff, which I, okay. I have some stairs and then I'm not going to worry. About, oh, I think once we build up the walls, I might go through and light up everything just so we don't have like a mob spawner right below our feet because that uh, might be really annoying. Also, just super laggy. And that is one thing that I need to keep on worrying about for this series. Uh, okay, so then I think for this, we're just going to keep on doing the stairs like this. Just going up. Oh, and then I like to treat you guys like my personal diary. So... Uh, because you guys are so cool and like, you know, you watch this series. So, uh, here's a sneak peek at the, uh, at the hardcore series on the main channel. So I've recorded episode 12 and episode 13, and I was planning on doing an entire month of that series, like how we've been doing on this one, because it's been super successful. I've been enjoying this a ton. You guys have been enjoying this a ton. So yeah, there, you know, it was like, okay, well, if it's working for one channel, we should obviously do it for the next one. So I was going to have an entire month of the hardcore series. However, as I was playing it, everything was just kind of breaking. Like a lot of the farms just don't work anymore. And I was always thinking of just starting a new series because that one is just so difficult to follow along since it's so old. Like it's been there since the beginning of, you know, skies like that channel blowing up. So it's all over the place and not easy to follow along with whatsoever and you know if i was thinking of doing that and then you know we're having all of these issues with farms and i'd have to just clean up the world like i, I was not happy whatsoever with how the world was just coming along like i i made it to day 2600 
and you know we just don't really have anything to show for it so there's episode 12 and episode 13 which those are coming out way later because i think i'm just going to treat the main channel like how i'm doing this channel and i'm just going to have one series and i don't think i'm going to do hardcore anymore i think i'm going to be doing just another survival series on there however it's still going to be futuristic and i'm going to use an elytra you know have shulkers like i'm gonna basically the opposite of this series still but you know um future so yeah I, I thought you know hey i'll give you guys you know a little sneak peek at that also how tall is that that is that looks way taller than 10. one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven ah, it's fine whatever i don't mind um yeah I, I don't think i mind this if anything because like i, I don't want to i don't want to go too crazy okay i i understand about um you know texturing making everything look like oh wow so unique stuff like that however i kind of just don't like it uh, especially when you look at a lot of pictures from movies games berserk that i keep mentioning um everything is kind of like uniform they, they don't go super duper crazy like minecraft builders do so i think okay uh, i'm gonna take like a inspiration from that and like there there's gonna be different oh, okay dear god i can't oh my god i'm not drunk i swear but I, i'm i'm gonna take inspiration from that and we'll have some blocks to like differentiate everything but i'm not gonna go super duper crazy with um texturing everything plus it's just kind of annoying but, you know, I might go back and remove some of these stone ones and just place regular stone or, like, cracked in there. I don't know. But, yeah, just, you know, some more thought process there. I like to yap. I didn't really see anyone complaining about how much I talk, so here you go, you know? I'm just gonna just keep on being a motor mouth. Oh, yeah, but I just uh, remembered. Uh, okay, so, I, oh, okay, yep, can't go through there anymore. So, uh, yeah, the, um the uh, the main channel hardcore series right uh, i forgot i started talking about that and then i just didn't uh you know continue saying anything so that's coming out way later uh, i'm going through a lot of videos that are already edited like uh as of me recording this today fallout 4 movies going live and then you know we, we got some other ones i finished raft i uh, did like another episode on, on a raft but yeah i'm gonna go through all those videos and then i'm uploading hardcore episode 12 and 13 and then after that, that's when the new uh, survival series on there. Well, we should probably call it future series so we could differentiate this series and the main channel series. Might make it a lot simpler. Like this is the medieval series and then main channel is the future series. I think that's so clean. I think it makes so much sense. I should really cover up that lava because let's be honest, I am most definitely going to be running in there someday. But uh, that'll be an issue for future me to deal with. I shouldn't have done that on the same fence, okay. And then we might be update. I think once on the future series, as soon as I get all of the villagers and I get like all enchantments and stuff, um, dear God, I have no stone. Oh, brother. Dog, oh my God. Okay, well, I thought I had more stone, but oh no. Hey, Darman, we might be clabbing soon. <laughs> But yeah, I think once I get all the enchantments on the main series, then, uh, not main series, on the future series, then we're going to be updating. Oh, I might wait until 1.21. I think that's the newest uh, update coming out. I don't really keep up with the uh, the updates anymore. I'm not going to lie. But I'm loving the things. Like, it's an actual update for once. You know, it's been like five years, but we're finally getting a real update. So I think with that one, that's what I'm going to be uh, updating to. Well, once all these mods update, because I, I, I can't play Minecraft without these mods, especially this distance mod. Like, that, this should be in vanilla, 100%. And then, since we have, uh, you know, these series going on, you know, like, I, I'm going to try and phase out 100 days. You know, I, I love 100 days as much as the uh, next person. However, you know, it's kind of old. It's kind of dying out. I think I'm one of the only creators who still does it. And, you know, I get views on it every now and then, but it's just... It seems like we're all getting tired of it. It takes way too long to do a series. So with these episodic series like this one, I think for the second channel, I'm going to give myself two, maybe three days to record an episode. 
And then for the future series, I'm going to be giving myself maybe like four days, maybe five, just so we can like really progress in it. And I'm only like going off of, you know, recording that amount of days because with a hundred days, you know, duh, you record a hundred days. So you know how much you're recording. So I'm very used to that. I'm very used to that kind of structure. So I feel like having a structure like that for these episodic series, it's probably the smartest way to go so we can keep track of everything. I didn't make stairs. Oh my god. Come on, Darman, dude. Like, brother, you gotta- Why am I coming up here, dude? Okay, I, I need you to, like, really pull through, okay, Darman? Like, you're, you're kind of slacking right now. You're not telling me any of these things. How do I get up here? <laughs> I don't want to put down water because I don't want to remove any of these flowers. I kind of just want to, like, leave everything. Nice. Wait, why am I continuing up here? I need to bring it down to the ground. Oopsies! Listen, I think by not destroying the land whatsoever, it's where we, you know, we just leave the flowers like this, it'll help it look natural. Uh, it might, it might Im improve our, our land value, you know, it'll bring up uh, the, the value of this trading hall that I'm bu uh, building that's most likely going to end up being like 400 million dollars, like let's be real. And then I'm trying to remember if there's anything else uh, from you guys commenting that I like I need to address, but I think that was like everything. Like I'm, I'm pretty sure I covered everything. So we should probably be going around cleaning up all of this just so we can get more blocks to build with. Oh God, I'm trying to think of a location because so I'm thinking that 100 by 100 hole with Darman so that then we can have kind of a uh, like a quarry zone. Like we can make like a building there in the future or something. Just to like signify, oh yeah, this is like the construction area. It might be kind of fun. So that I'm just not going around, you know, destroying random things throughout the world. I, I would like to leave the world as, you know, natural and beautiful as possible. I don't really want to like terraform anything. Oh, speaking of terraforming, I remember talking about how on my boots, how I put Depthstrider 3 on this. And then I was actually able to like move around this fast. Yeah, uh, on the on the uh, the hardcore series on the main channel, I didn't have that enchantment. Uh, apparently, I never added that. Like I don't know how, but I just never had it, and that that part really blew me away. So yeah and then that that, that would have taken so much time to actually get it in there because y you guys are gonna see uh, a lot of you are probably gonna be mad. <laughs> about what I did <laughs> because when I was doing it I wasn't planning on ending the series but yeah oh and then don't worry I didn't die in there so like if you guys really hate it I can bring the series back but I just don't think that I am okay I think I destroyed all of the blocks in the correct position I'm trying to like remove all the ones where like they overlap with each other because I don't I think I really need them. And then I also need to go and look up some, um, uh, like castle grounds because are they all stone? Because I'm kind of wanting to, like, I think it would be smart or at least like a little bit more efficient if I use wood. Like if we just have wood flooring everywhere instead of just stone, plus, you know, it might make it uh, stand out even more, but I'm pretty sure all medieval like courtyard floors were stone which kind of sucks won't lie okay and i think i left those three okay i think we cleaned up everything i think we did a good job there but it's actually wild how much more i'm loving this world than the hardcore series oh dang it okay so we're completely out of stone also how long have you been here i think that has silk uh i kind of just want to destroy you yeah, like, I don't think I need that, like, whatsoever. Uh, also, okay, so, love this idea of just, you know, having the stone go straight down to the ground. I think this will make it look a, a lot more just correct, y y you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just gonna make it so much more uh, natural looking to have it like that. And I think I like having only these two staircases coming in. We need to figure out how are we doing the dock. We might go a little crazy with that. Like, I, I think that's the vibe with this entire uh, series. And then the future series is that we're just going to go all out for everything. So we're, you know, it'll probably just be a meme where it's like, oh, okay, I had to go and build a, uh, I don't know, like a pantry. And then like, yeah, it's just like a picture of like a castle, you know? Like, I'm just gonna go absolutely absurd with everything that I'm gonna be making. 
And also, here you go. Now we have the, the, the big problem. I can't believe I'm out of stone. I actually didn't think that I was that low. I thought I had so much more. Oh, uh, also, Darman had a really good idea. So, because I'm not using shulker boxes, at least not for a very long time, whenever we start, like, these mega builds like this, just so I don't have to make so many trips back and forth of just transporting items and uh, having uh, a lot of chests that are, like, always really ugly, what if I download one of the backpack mods and then we only use backpacks for uh, mega builds like it might you know still be pretty cheaty because you know it's basically just having shulker boxes so it's like why not just go get shulker boxes but you know also okay am i like safe to get down from here but um yeah you know like yeah uh, just having some uh s some uh backpacks might be good just for that but i just wanted to see how all of you were feeling now, I'm trying to find a location on where do we want to build, well, technically dig this 100 by 100 hole. Because we could go to a hilly area and then we just, like, do a hole right into the hill. Might be kind of funny. And then I could build, like, some machinery and, like, structures on the hill as if they're digging through it. Plus, we would get more stone out of that compared to, you know, flat ground. Thank you for actually waiting right there, Donkey. Oh, yeah, I was also really happy that you guys really love, um... Well, not him, but like the other one, just naming him Donkey. So for this one, I didn't really see any comments if you guys wanted me to call this one like The Limit or Cloud. And I'm also just assuming like, you know, you guys actually want the, the fandom name of The Skewers. I keep on meaning to start videos being like, hey, what's up everyone? It's me, Skews here. But then I'm also curious, are we just going to confuse new people that find my channel and be like, wait, I thought his name was pronounced Skies, or like, why does he pronounce Skies as Skews? Like, maybe I just keep calling myself Skies, but then you guys just call me Skews. Now, especially for the 100 by 100 hole, we don't want it really anywhere near us. And I think I like that idea of starting on top of a mountain, and then we just dig down. Because we'll be getting a lot more stone out of it, because like that's like the main reason why we're doing it. But we'll also be getting a ton of um ores. So that's also really nice. Also, I need a fence, so thank you. Also, we could transform this village into like a mining village if we build it right here. Or dig it right here. Okay, so we're gonna go straight into a ravine. So this might not be a good location. Don't worry, we're such good mountain climbers. I am so proud of you. I have Skyrim horse right now. And, oh, oh yeah, this might be a really good spot. Is that a sunken ship? Wow. Yeah, we need to build some tall buildings. Imagine just having like a really nice spire somewhere. Oh, maybe where our base is. We'll build like a really, really, really tall spire that leads into a, uh, like a little, um, you know, like one of those, you know, like a, like a fishing spot, you know? <laughs> I think I like this. I think, I think having a big hole right here would actually be really good. Plus there's a lot of ecosystems like bees that you can see right there. Yeah, there's like a lot of ecosystems like that. So it might be really nice to destroy them. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm sold. I, I think this is going to be our spot. Uh, I need to l find a nice place to keep you. What? Wait, huh? Are you new or have you been here? Why are you here? Where'd you come from? Where'd you go? Where'd you come from, Kai and I, Joe? That is so weird. Has he always been here? I do not remember that. Um... Let's see, we'll store you right here. Okay, the hard part is going to be marking out all of the corners of this place. Yes, deafening audio, yes. Oh, break my eardrums, I love it. Okay, so with this one... <sighs> God, like I'm trying to think of how to do this because we don't want like okay let's travel up the mountain and then boom hole or else we're just making a volcano so my war this is not gonna be easy 
Because we want the hole to go out a little bit. Let's see. Since we kind of dipped down. Oh, wait. No, never mind. Okay, I know. There's a lot over here. So maybe we have the first section. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Definitely a lot more down. Okay, wait, wait, wait. But we don't want to go into a river. That's going to be very tedious. Uh, I think about here, honestly, might be fun. Actually, mm. Okay, we'll do it right here. This will be the first corner right here. Yes. Okay, so... The corner right here, so technically this is where we're digging. So with the pillar right here, this is going to be, you know, like the wall. Like from this point to this point to onward. So this is the actual hole. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 7, 98, 99, 100. Oh my god, we are... S oh, wait, 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 wait. No, it's right here. Oh... Dude, we actually stopped that, like, so perfectly. We calculated this entire thing way too well. Okay, so I'll just make this super duper tall so I can very easily tell where this ends. I think that this is entirely in a straight line incorrect. Like, I think we're all good there. So, from here, 1, 2, 3, 50. That looks sick. That looks so cool. 50, 51, 52, 53, and 9, 100. Okay, ah, uh, a little bummed out about it, like, not being down there, but, you know, whatever. Like, it doesn't have to be a full-on square. Um, like, if I ever get annoyed or, hey, you know, if I need more grass blocks, we can also just, you know, come over here and start shaving this down. But, okay, I think... Ooh, wait, that's confusing because of that block and that block right there, but I think this is still in a straight... Oh, wait, crap. That's where it's supposed to go. Okay, yeah, yeah, this is a straight line now. There we go, okay. Carmen made a little oopsie poopsie. Can't, can't blame him, though. Okay, there we go. Nice and tall. We can see it up here. That's perfect. Ow. Is that going straight into a cave? Interesting. Okay, so from this, let me go 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 7, 8, 9, 9, 100. So I think right here, we need to be very fast because, oh my god, I need to go sleep. I don't want any baddies, especially girls, to spawn here or else I'm going to become scared and not know how to talk. <laughs> I feel like I just messed this up. Wait, did I put that right on the 100 or should it have gone here? Um, okay, let's see. Because then that means technically this one, so if we run in a straight line, we should end up to the left of a pillar down here. God, I hate planning out stuff. So much thinking. Me no like thinking, me want do doing. And... yeah. Okay, I think that actually lines up. I like how I can take all of this fall damage and then I don't even take any damage whatsoever. Okay, so sweet. I think we got everything, we have it all mapped out. I barely made that tall whatsoever, so I kind of want to extend it. Now, I'm about to show you guys a very secretive technique. I hope you guys don't spread it around to any other YouTuber. This one is like kind of, you know, like a, like a family uh, like heirloom, I guess you could probably call it that. So um, what I'm going to do in this, so I, I did it in the hardcore series and, you know, I'm going to do it in here as well. And it's, it's a very big tip on how to do projects like, you know, digging out this hole. I'm not going to go all the way down to bedrock. I'm, I'm going to force Darm to join me soon and then do it for me. But what I'm about to do is I'm going to go and watch a movie while I do this. <laughs> like on the hardcore series, I managed to watch Dune 1 and, um, The Batman, which I think came out in 2022. So I managed to watch both of those movies while I was, you know, terraforming and, you know, doing some other things in the hardcore uh, episode. And yeah, it worked phenomenally. Like, wowies, I was able to do so much. I... Okay, yeah, both of you guys go into there. Come on, I want to I wanna actually collect all these bees even though I don't need more and I'm not going to add them to our little beehive uh, area. But once I make a building for the bees, then, you know, I want a lot more. So please, thank you. And cool achievement. But yeah, uh, you know, the, the trick that absolutely no one else does, I'm definitely the first person to think of this, is yeah, you just go watch a movie while you do this. And I think I'm going to try and find like a three hour long movie and then I'll tell you guys what I think of it afterwards. And that water is still flowing down from when I water elevated. Really? 
No. But yeah, heavily recommend it. Man, it makes everything so much easier. So much more enjoyable to do. And we're about to get a ton of dirt and uh, grass blocks, which honestly might be really nice. Because even though I'm not going to terraform, I think I want to add some, like, grass blocks to our, uh, our little courtyard area. Because maybe, maybe instead of stone or wood, maybe we make it grass. So it feels a little bit more natural. Oh, cool. I already found a cave. Awesome. Oh, I hit this. <laughs> oh my god, and it looks like a nightmare in here. Oh my Jesus. Yep, don't mind me. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I, I said it in the hardcore series, but I heavily love Doom 1. Doom? Uh, Dune 1 and the Batman. Recommend both of them. Really good movies. Probably not going to see Dune 2 in theaters. Probably just going to wait for it to go into streaming services, though. Got to be honest. Oh, thank God. Okay, sweet. It's actually in the right spot. Okay, sweet. First line done. 100 blocks really doesn't seem like that big. Being honest. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Scared. I thought that was a girl. It was like a female touch. Ew. Terrifying. Alrighty, so it's been roughly three and a half hours and we didn't really get that much done. So I kind of just like deleted the top part of the mountain. The worst thing is how I mainly only got stupid dirt out of all of this. So I definitely want to incorporate that into some of the builds. So I think think uh definitely yes for um the trading hall i think we're gonna be making a lot of the courtyard grass because so i think we make it a lot of grass and then we'll just have like actual pathways of stone bricks might be the best choice you know might be the like the the smartest move with the the materials that we have but also it might look the nicest and then funny enough okay well other than that part but like yeah if you just go sideways and get down the mountain super easy and I would have to go back and forth just non-stop. I'm running relay races from the base all the way back to the top of that mountain. So it definitely makes me uh, miss shulker boxes and definitely miss elytras because, oh my god, in the hardcore world, it was so much faster to do what I just did. Like, I was able to do maybe six times as much work. And then uh, I'm just running back here because I just want to show you guys something uh, that I noticed when I was running to the top of the mountain. I want to build a giant building for the nether portal right there. Like even, even right there, there's a destroyed nether portal. So like, it's just calling to us and look at how sick that is. Like you have this giant river system going all the way around this really cool little island with some mountains in the background. And then I think we could probably link. I think this river actually links up to the trading hall. It's a super, super long pathway. But it's kind of cool. Like, I don't know. I, I doubt I'm ever going to, like, take a boat all the way over here. But that is one million percent going to be the location where we build the nether portal. So this uh, area going to have some uh, activity, you know. We'll, we'll be putting in some traffic over here. Oh, yeah. Also, um, yeah, my tools are almost destroyed. <laughs> uh, that sucks. I kind of really want to get netherite stuff, but we'll we'll do that in the future. You know, we, we got builds and other things to do before we go into the nether. Like, I... I want to make sure that we have a good overworld before we take on the nether, because once we get in the nether, there's a lot of builds that I want to do. Oh, hi. Please don't continue going uh, towards my base. That'd be really nice. I, I would kill you, but I don't want to do a raid at my base. Oh, um, also a wandering trader came by, so we got two more leads and like nine leather. That one was insane. Ooh, and back to our base. So, obviously, we would be getting a ton of items. <laughs> uh, a lot of dirt. A lot of dirt and some grass blocks that part's cool but a lot of dirt like just uh like a, a metric ton of dirt so that like really sucks we only have one double chest of stone and i started it up here so we didn't really get anything uh, and that kind of like hurts to say <laughs> oh but i've been getting some emeralds so like i guess that's cool <laughs> dear god we have so much dirt oh my Okay, well, at least we have a double chest and, like, a single chest of stone. So, we, we got some building material. And speaking of building material, I think... Actually, mm, not here. Let's... 
Maybe these are actually grown a little bit. Hopefully a lot of these like aren't saplings anymore, but I think I actually just want to do a whole lot of trading because I definitely want to start working on um, Darman's stuff. So like, you know, whenever we play, he'll actually, you know, uh, have items in here. And like, oh God, like I, I know I can go and build a mob spawner. Like I, I fully get that. Really probably should. It would probably be really smart for me to do that. But I just, oh God, I, I really don't want to make something that ugly in this world like i like at some point we're definitely going to be needing it but i feel like i can kind of just hold out and then just leave that for future me <laughs> and then we could probably build some kind of like mega bolts actually make it look really nice just so it's not an eyesore in the sky because that, that's my biggest reasoning on why i don't want to make one but also, you know, we, we got to get Darman some stuff because, yeah, just doing over three and a half hours of doing that hole and barely made any progress on it. And I think that's mainly just because there was so much dirt, so it kept filling me up really, really fast. So I had to keep on traveling all the way back here just to uh, put it away. So it, another reason why some, like, the backpack mod might be really good is because of that. And, you know, I need to do a lot less traveling just so I can make a lot more progress on stuff, which would, in turn, allow us to yeah, build faster, you know, progress faster in our journey. Oh, and then in case uh, uh, any of you are wondering, so I watched the newest Aquaman movie. I, could, I forgot what the name was, but um, yeah, it was like Aquaman number two. I'd give it like a six, maybe a five. <laughs> Like, it was okay. It definitely passed, you know, two hours for me. So I'm not, you know, like, disappointed in watching it. But, yeah, that that one was, like, a very solid five or six. Like, it, it was okay. It was definitely, like, a kid's movie, but eh. And after that, I just watched, like, a YouTube video. I think I'm going to start doing that. Like, whenever I need a... Like, just pause recording just to go do, like, a really long, mundane task. Maybe just watch a movie and then just, like, rate it. Like, uh, you know, tell you guys, like, oh, yeah, like, I recommend watching it or not. Might be a, a fun little thing. Okay, so chopped down some of those. And then, funny enough, actually received so much wood that I, uh, I have to, like, store it into here now. Um, but, yeah, so I think what we're going to be doing is just a lot of trading to actually just heal all of our stuff. Because I... I feel like that's actually going to be giving us, uh... Oh, wait, no, that's not like a proper sense. I feel like we're just gonna be getting, uh, XP faster this way. Blah, 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 whatever. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Plus, we are a bit low on, um, emeralds. And then this way, we can actually... Hopefully, faster than last time, get everything that we need for Darman's tools. Actually... Here, since I'm level 31, let's be even smarter. Okay, okay, here. So we got some emeralds now, and you're weird. So we got some emeralds. I think first is you. Okay, yeah. Let's just buy some diamond armor. Wow. That shovel's actually almost fully healed just off of a few logs, so... Definitely a lot faster than a mob spawner, because I'm also just worried about them in regular worlds like this. Like, if we were in one block, they'd be like, yeah, no issue whatsoever. I would totally go build one because they work astronomically fast. Whereas when we're in, you know, a normal world, they are really, really slow because you'll just be running into a whole lot of uh, spawn issues with them. Also, oh my god, I have so many bookshelves. The only downside, actually, never mind, I just remembered I had a lot of these. Okay, phew, can go so much faster. I was so worried I'd have to do this by hand. Oh, at least I don't need to buy any diamond axes for him. That's a plus. <laughs> okay, so we got a ton of books. Man, we do not have any emeralds, but we just need to start enchanting stuff so I can get my levels lower. See, everything we're doing, calculated moves. Everything just needs to be really smart. I like how you can see the outline for my hole over there. Not not that hole, but like the mining hole. Now let's see. Uh, let's do boots first. Why not? So we need on breaking three. And give me that mending. The terrible part is trying to remember exactly which... Oh, wait, no, I'm stupid. Hey, look, I just found out which ones I need for my boots. <laughs> okay, I think that's everything. So we need thorns, depth, mending, protection, I'm breaking, and feather falling. So we got depth, feather falling, protection, thorns, I'm breaking, mending. That's six total and six right there. Okay, sick. That was, like, 
way easier than last time. That, that felt really weird. Oh my god, how many of these guys are you guys spawning? Then we just go through the fun stuff of combining. This is like very weirdly cheap. Like really cheap. Okay, so we just need 27 for that. Like, wow, we're almost done. Uh, we'll store all of your stuff in here. Why not? Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so weird. I'm so easy. But yeah, see, now we're broke. Ugh, terrible. Awful feeling. Like, I feel like I should kill you guys, but at the same time... Oh my god, there's four of you out here. Uh... If we're lucky, that's not going to affect that, but that, that's if we're lucky. And yes, Jarman, I know, I'm making you blush by getting all your stuff prepared for you instead of making you do this. I know, I know, you're blushing. Yes, I know, this makes me so baby girl. <laughs> oh man, I miss this. Standing around, just waiting for you guys to do something. Also, another fun thing for any of you that care or that are uh, wondering, so... In Berserk, I'm on uh, Deluxe Volume 8 of 14, and I think I made it there in like 9 days. Maybe 10 days. While recording. Like everything. It, it was tough work, I really wanted to stop just to read, but yeah, I, I pushed through. I don't know, I'm a tough soldier. Yeah, I think we're gonna be doing this every single time that I ever need to um, repair all my stuff. I, I think just doing this way is a lot more beneficial to us than if I were to make a mob spawner. It's slower, you know, it's gonna make us progress through our journey a lot, uh, lot slower, but eh. Because at the same time, you know, it's just, it's giving me so many emeralds and I'm still thinking of the future to where if I ever die, like, believe it or not, I still haven't died yet. Uh, day 172, like, we're still going strong, never even came close to it, that's not even sarcasm. But just on the off chance, if I were to die, it would be nice, like, and, and I can't get my stuff back, or like, you know, if I die to lava somehow. Uh, it, it would be nice to come back and just have all of these emeralds just, you know, available. So you guys need to stop baiting me by doing that, come on, there we go, thank you. If you're gonna make the noise of you guys hitting the table and re, you know refreshing your trades, like usually that's the indicator that you know you can trade with them again. It, it, that that right there, please. No, like see you. Can... <sighs> you guys just keep baiting me. Come on, come on. We're so close. We are almost there. I'm gonna hurt you at this point. It's like I I'm pretty sure we should still have one more trade session and. <sighs> So I was gonna wait until the next day to do this, but wait, I just remembered all this iron, which, oh my god, yes, it actually did just fully repair it. Okay, I think we got everything fixed, and let's continue to be smart. So, where's my iron? There you are. Wait, speaking of iron, how much do I have over here? Ah, not bad. I mean, it's definitely not doing anything right now because we haven't been over here in quite some time, but hey, not bad. Okay, so let's be smart though, and instead of continuing to trade and just getting more XP and emeralds and everything, I'd rather wait until our tools need to be repaired again. So I will, you know, I'll, I'll try and do as much trading as I can, you know, and uh, getting everything for Darman, but yeah, let, let's continue to be smart though. So all of you there, um... Honestly, I think, I think, let's just fill up our entire inventory with stone bricks. And let's go see how much damage we can do to our walls. Oh god, I forgot about all the honey with the bees. Ah, let, mm, ah let's do it. Oops. Oh my god, you guys have been busy in here. Okay, there we go. Whew. At least now I won't feel too bad about any of that. Get, where is it? There we go. Okay. Okay, now we're off. Plus, I don't want to do too much of like one grindy thing in one go or else then, you know, if I spend two days tearing down that entire mountain making a hole, you guys are going to have about a 20 minute episode because I talked for like 20 minutes straight in the beginning of this. <laughs> it's something that I've just learned when doing episode 13 of the hardcore series. It was supposed to be way longer and the video is like one hour long because so much grindy stuff was happening. Yeah, that was, that was fun and cool. <laughs> okay, there we go. Hello, my old friend. Uh, this is gonna be, okay, no, I need to remember to not go up the stairs. 
Yeah, this is definitely going to be a monster, but... I'm feeling confident about it all. I'm just mm, trying to think of how to do it. I mean, we could have just a lot of pathways going around with stone. And then, you know, we just make like a lot of planter boxes with the grass. That might look nice. Okay, this part's going to be trippy. Um, I think we need to tear this down. We should probably just ignore this until we're ready to build the dock. That's honestly probably our wisest choice. And then we can, I don't have any room for you. Okay, here, let's go and add you to the staircase over here. What? Oh, whoops. Okay, I'm awkward. <laughs> so I think that entire site is good and done. And then you... Because I'm also trying to think on which ones do I need to bring down. Because I know I don't need to do these, I think. I think at some point we actually have to, like, rebuild them up top. Yeah, this is, like, a huge reason on why I didn't want to continue only doing line work and why I want to finish at least the walls of this so I can understand everything for the building. Okay, yeah, I think it's just this part. Okay, maybe we're not going to need that much more stone, but now that I've just said that out loud, we're going to be needing a metric ton more stone. That's usually how it goes. And then if that's the case, then Darman's just gonna get a pay cut, because you know, he's the one that jinxed it, not me. Oh, maybe parts for like, uh, right here, we can make like a, like a little sewer pipe looking thing. That might be fun and cool. And then speaking of fun and cool, um, yeah, let's actually just continue bringing up the wall over there. This place is gonna be- Are you kidding me? Can you guys leave me alone? It's like the fourth time in the past five hours that I've seen you guys. Oh god, I just realized I've been, re been recording for like six hours now. And we have not done much. Oh, and then I think I did this in the hardcore episode. I don't think I said it in here. But I did install- I think I installed two mods in here, one where it just removes the XP limit when you're enchanting stuff. So we shouldn't have any more too expensive because I find that so unbelievably stupid that should never have been put into Minecraft. It, it's a single player game. Don't have a limitation like that. Like, come on. But multiplayer, yeah, I understand. And then the other one, which it's a very solid 50-50 if it works, but I finally found a mod where Enderman cannot pick up blocks. Now I say 50-50 because, you know, with that mod, it's supposed to make it so that they, you know, can't lift up blocks. But as soon as I said that in the hardcore episode, an Enderman was walking right in front of me with a dirt block. So it's like a low 50-50 that it works. Like it, it might not work, but yeah. I, I'm, I'm gonna have some hope that it actually does. Especially since, I mean, we haven't really been seeing Endermen right now, now thinking about it. I haven't really, I don't think I've seen any Endermen in the past six hours. So either it just completely removes them or they can't pick up blocks. I don't think it removes them. I mean, if it did, that's just another pay cut for Darman. Are you guys harassing a pig? As he, like, looks over here for help. Okay, maybe we didn't gather too much stuff. <laughs> and then, I don't think I've said it this episode, but, I mean, very obviously, thank you guys so, so much for supporting the series, subscribing, watching, even sharing it around. Like, uh, it's just all of the support, like, it means the world to me and to Darman. And, uh, funny enough, because of this series, like, it's actually possible to continue this channel. So, I just want to say thank you guys so much like from the bottom of my heart for just enjoying the series and interacting with it so much and just being so supportive with it, especially because this isn't like a meta series. You know, there's there's no like flashy, huge build, 100 days, hardcore. Like there, there's nothing like that. It's just me playing and then just yapping away for hours as if it's a podcast and then just building and doing like whatever I want here. So it's just thank you guys so much for, you know, just the nice uh, breath of fresh air. And, you know, just like, like a, like a, a more enjoyable series, because out of 
all of the worlds that I've been uploading recently, I won't lie, this is probably my most favorite one, or it's in the top two. Plus, it is so much nicer to record like this than to do, like, any of the, uh, the trends. But thank you guys so much, and hopefully the series will continue to be very entertaining for you all. I'm very excited to see what everything's gonna be like in... Oh my god, I didn't bring a bed. Oh, the... Okay, we need to run. But I'm very excited to see where this world is going to look like and be in like 20 episodes, 30 episodes. Okay, thank God we have a bed over here. Oh, something that could have been a little bad. Like, not really, just more of annoying. It'll be nice whenever I go crazy enough to, um, like, spawn-proof our entire world. Because let's be real, I'll most likely do it at some point. Oh my God, there's an Enderman. <gasps> but you see, what's not in his arms? Ooh, someone can't pick up anything, I think. I hope, please. Please don't prove me wrong. Continue to be like that. Love you. But I, th I think the mod is working. And I'm not going to lie. I don't think I'm ever going to update Minecraft unless the, uh, like the newest update is just too insane to not do it or that uh, Enderman mod updates. I... I am so sick and tired of Enderman destroying worlds and just like picking up blocks just to be annoying. Like I, I get it's literally nothing and there's ways around it. Like if I just make everything out of concrete or wood or stone, like just things that they can't pick up. But that's so annoying and then your world's gonna look pretty ugly unless you just, you know, have like a theme to it that, you know, doesn't need any dirt. I feel like I didn't have the same feather falling in my hardcore world because I'm taking so much less damage from falls in here compared to that world. I, I don't think I'm going crazy on that. I'm starting to realize just how tall this place is going to be. We will most de like, especially if we go onto a hill, we are never going to wonder where is our base, especially if I want to build a giant like a uh, Shire. I think that's like the correct term for it. Honestly, I think we might want to do that. And then, oh, what if I build like a Shire? I think that's the right term. It feels like I'm saying something wrong. But if we build that like everywhere to where we have uh, like big buildings, like imagine just one all the way back there and it looks like that in the distance and then just having those everywhere just so we can see around our world. That's another reason why I absolutely love the distance mod because it just makes your world feel so much more like real and immersive and fun instead of, oh, hey, look, you know, I can see three chunks out and then after that, it's just a void or, oh, cool, it's just a blue sky. Like you could just see the edges of your world and it's like, eh? Kind of ruins it for you. I think that'd be really sick just to see those towers everywhere. And also to uh, scout out the land. Because the only reason why I found that one location where I want to build another portal is because of the mountain. Because it was so tall. Okay, nice. And I was actually correct. We don't need to do uh, any terraforming. Because very luckily our wall is going to go over all of this land. So that actually saves us so much time. Even though I... I probably should kind of flatten out this area. It would probably make it a lot easier or cheaper to um, do that for all of the uh, the lighting. And also just to have the materials, because like we do kind of need them, but at the same time, like, eh. Oh my gosh, dude, I can click so fast. God, I'm such a pro gamer. Hurry, we need to keep the pig out. Actually, no, here, I want the pig in there. There you go. I'm curious if I can like trap you in here. Oh my gosh, we're almost done with the cooked uh, mutton chops. Mutton, not mutton chops. Oh my gosh, we're almost, we're making progress on food. What? Wow. That was an entire inventory of stone? Wow. Okay, that's kind of impressive. Oh, do I, wow. Don't even know how, I didn't even notice you there. I actually thought that you somehow left me. I was about to start crying. It's not you guys, it's me. I, I'm the problem, not you. I'm going delusional because I'm tired. I mean, like, I don't think we need to make that many more. Uh, the one thing that I really want to finish is staircases, which I think might just need, like, no, maybe, maybe two? No, 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 we definitely need three. I really wish that you could do the, like, the space bar and, like, shift click spamming like you can with, um, villager trading with this. It would make the stone cutter so much more useful. <laughs> I'm pretty sure 1.21 or whatever the newest update that's coming out this year, I'm pretty sure that one has the auto crafter, something like that. I forgot the exact name that they were using, but I wonder, like, if that's actually coming out, I wonder if... 
you would be able to use other blocks with it. Or is it just strictly like a crafting table, but it just does it by itself with like probably some kind of redstone contraption to it. Because it'd be kind of cool if you could hook that up to a stone cutter. And then you could just automate like specific kind of blocks that you need for a lot cheaper. Because I don't think you actually need a stone cutter for anything. I'm pretty sure you can craft all those blocks. It's just cheaper. But I'm not like 100% positive on that. I'm really starting to realize just how massively tall this place is going to be. I hope it doesn't look bad. It's like it's going to be really high up, but like is it going to be too high up? Oh, it's like Romeo and Juliet. Oh, blocking out the chickens from each other. Oh, that makes me happy. <laughs> Whew. Oh, nice. Yeah, we definitely need to do something. I'll... Ooh, maybe... Maybe some more, like, staircases on this side. But yeah, first... First, we need to make, like, the bare-bones skeleton of this entire place. And then we're gonna go through and, like, decorate the outside of the wall. Because I think it's gonna look really ugly if I leave it like that. Mm. I mean, it might look ugly. But it might look really, really cool once we have, like, the upper courtyard as well. Hmm. Yeah, this place is gonna need so much lighting. Okay, let's see. Now let's uh, let, let's do the task of the confusing stairs. Because I think this level right here is honestly perfectly fine. Yeah, 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 because I think we'll leave it natural, but then we'll just have it lead straight into wood. That that might be the coolest. Even though that wouldn't really make sense because. Okay, never mind. Maybe we'll actually just, you know, change this all into wood. Because that, that makes a lot more sense. It's a lot more, like, realistic. Okay, let's be smart. Before I actually start doing any of that stuff, um, if I can get to those staircases. I think I made it 11 high, not 10. Oh, that's not a good sign. Oh. Did I s Wait, no. There's no way I miscounted by that much. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... Wait, how is it that off? Huh? Oh, wait, duh. Okay, so get this, a wild concept here. Um, that's about three blocks lower over there than it is over there. So, duh. Okay. Never mind. Crisis averted. So I think I think that's three blocks. I think we need to move it back two. You know what, here, let's make it even more difficult. What we're gonna be doing is building backwards. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure this right here needs to be stairs. I think that's correct, wow. Then I almost put the dock like right where it needed to be. That's actually pretty impressive. Okay, so we'll just make this, I think that's right. So we'll just make that the bottom floor. Okay, I think we need to make a quick trip back to the mountain because I need to have a bed in here so I can actually fall asleep. Like, I know there's sheep and everything, but I'd rather be stubborn and waste, like, almost an entire day trying to get a bed over here. Phew, okay, it wasn't that bad of a journey. I'm actually a little surprised that I left the bed there. Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I ever mentioned- Ah! So, mm, um, um, okay, there. Yeah, I don't think I ever mentioned this. Um, yeah, there's a lot of caverns around this place. I don't know why. Try and cover it up a little bit. Yeah, I can't. That entire time that I was ever mining, and then the, now I actually like almost fall into that hole. Like that. That's incredible. Like three and a half hours of, you know, running up and down this thing, mining it. But no, I, you know, when I come back just to get my little bed and then almost lose my, uh, my mule. All right. uh, please, no, don't leave anything ugly. There we go. Okay, but at least now we can actually fall asleep. You know, we'll be safe. Now we can actually, you know, hopefully build this a whole lot faster. Ideally, I would like to at least finish the lower courtyard this episode, but this is the second day, and I think I need to, like, strictly stay to that schedule so I don't, uh, you know, get into, uh, like, theoretical trouble. Like, trouble as in, oh no, I now need to, like, hyper-record videos because I'm, like, a day behind. Okay, Ooh, we should be good. I am really hoping that I have the stairs for this because I was not expecting it to be this uh, big. Yes, yes, this place is looking amazing. Now we need to start thinking. Ah, okay, now here. So we'll we'll leave the 
dock for a future episode. Oh, because we might want to build like a, a bridge over there. Uh, I don't think that's an island. I'm pretty sure that's like a little peninsula that le leads to land over there and then it's into another ocean. We might want to like actually mine out a, a canal through there just for uh, some more boat travel. But I kind of also don't want to do that because I think I'm going to be making a lot of sky bridges everywhere with like ice on it so we can take a boat. Oh, and then I saw someone say like, oh, why don't you just use a boat with a chest in it? Then you don't need like the mule with the chest on it, you know, like you, you can then just like put all your items in the boat, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, yeah, that'd be smart, except, you know, uh, what happens when I leave the bridge? So that's why I'm not using a, um, you know, that thing, um, the, the, the chest boat. I'm just going to be using, you know, a mule. So I can just put it in there, take the mule out, and then we can continue traveling. Because I, I still need them to, like, go places because just running takes way too long. But, dude, oh, this is so sick. I can't wait to see the grand staircase going up because I think it's, like, twice the thickness of these. I mean, I th think it's almost a... S yeah, I think it's actually almost the height of this one, so I think that's going to be a good decision for it. Uh, so I don't have things spawning in here. Okay, we should be good there. Now, for the lower courtyard, hmm. Since I am starting to get a lot of, I think it's called andesite, what if... So I'm thinking, hmm... It might be really clean with this. Shut up, I'm talking here. So it might be really clean with the staircase since it is stone bricks. Maybe we use stone bricks, you know, for the pathway from there. Maybe another pathway kind of like around there. Like we'll, we'll make like our own like little walkways. And then one block away from the stone, uh, stone bricks, we then go stone. And after that one uh, layer of stone, then we go andesite for everything else. And that might be really clean. Um, if we do, oh, maybe instead of using stone right next to the stone bricks for like the pathways up there, maybe we do um, stone slabs. So then it can come up a little bit just to give the, the pathways a little bit more oomph. That's a lot of meat in my face while I'm sleeping, Jesus. Reminds me of college. <laughs> no, you say it's fun because I, I never went to college. <laughs> Okay, now for the pathways. I feel like we should just make all of our pathways the same width as the stairs. And then right here, this is when it immediately goes into the um, the stone uh, slabs. I think I like that. I think, I think that's a good idea. Now the big issue is here. So once we come up, we need to start going this direction. Um, hmm. This is when it gets a little tricky because, ah, uh, honestly, let's be real. Let's just start working on raising this up first because it'll help me plan out all of the, um, the pathways a lot easier. Okay, sweet. I think I, uh, mimicked it, mirrored it, mirrored it, uh, correctly. I don't think I messed up on any of the blocks. Now I just need to collect everything before it despawns. Okay, beautiful. Did everything, like, man, even still, like, am I crazy? Like, this still looks small. Like, I thought this was going to be so much bigger, but, like, I, I'm starting to get, like, a little disappointed in it, but, like, I, I think it's big. No, it's probably above average. It, it probably has a really good personality. Like, it, I, I think it's just going to come down to, like, how we use it. That's probably the, uh, the most important part. At the very least, I know for a fact the, um... Ah, you know, oh, dang it. I didn't want another one to spawn in. But I think the iron farm is actually going to be tremendously bigger because I want it to look very impressive, especially with the lava bridge. Ah, I see, much easier. Okay, so I think the rule for this should be we should stay five blocks away from this. Because I don't think that we should have our pathway be really close to, the, you know, the upper courtyard wall, which is this. And then that might give us enough room to put down some dirt because I think I want to have like a nice, uh, like nature bed around here. Yeah, I think I like that. I think from here, that's five blocks away. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. One, four, five. So. Okay. 
You go like here. So yeah, okay, and then now we just need to kind of mirror it. Like this. There we go, and then we go back, break all of you. Wait. No, I already messed up. Okay, this is good. I mean, maybe five blocks isn't even enough. No, no, th this should be fine, because we want, like, a straight way there. Yeah, so I think that's fine. And then we're just going to make another, like, stream of pathways going here. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. So I, I think I like this. We now just need to kind of mimic it over onto this side. So for this one, we're going to go over one more block. Now, this is probably, like, a way slower way to actually build, but at least this way, I shouldn't be able to make any mistakes. And that is the one thing that I really, you know, want to make sure of. Because this is when it gets a little bit tricky, because very clearly this is way too close, but when we go over here, like, this is all fine. Ugh. <laughs> wasn't me. Because the one thing is, like, I need it to, like, match up to here. Right, wait, 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 wait. Was it up to the staircase? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't know why that scared me. Like, no, I'm not gonna die to that. I don't, I don't know. Darman. <sighs> God, I don't know why you were freaking out over that. Okay, but I, th I think this is correct. It's gonna get, like, stupid close to this, but, like, maybe that's good? Because I think it, like, it needs to. Let's go up two, and then from here, we go up two, and then from here, I think we just go straight. Is that still one, two, three, four? Wait, what? No, 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 because I... That has to be correct. Yeah, because I think right here is when it stopped being the five rule, and then here it just goes straight. Yeah, no, th this, this has to be correct. Okay, then I think what we do... I think right here we kind of just cut it off when we go straight and then oh that's when we can have like a third pathway come up down the straight of it I, I think i think i like that idea and then let's not bring it up to the staircase just so i don't lose track of this i mean i could just bring them up by one block but whatever um i think the easier way is going to be uh going over to that side and just kind of redoing this entire thing Okay, so I need to remember, I came forward three blocks, and then we started copying it. Okay, so I did a little bit of off-camera work. Don't worry, the entire building's not done. I'm not about to pull a YouTuber move on you. But I did finish both ways, and it seems a little demonic, but that's besides the point. So I, it, it was looking really weird and skinny, like, when we got over here, so I didn't like that. So I went over, well, I went up six blocks, and then I just brought them over. So we got the two pathways, and then we definitely need to do something here. Like, I might, like, carve out a circle right here, and then maybe we have, like, a tree in the center. That might look really, really pretty. Uh, I think I just talked myself into that. I think there is when we're going to branch out and do a little skinny pathway, maybe. Um, it's just, like, a lot of planning, you know? It's going to be a lot of, like, tearing down, rebuilding, tearing down, rebuilding. That's basically how all this is going to go. I raised up the... Uh, raised up to Weird. Okay, I, I raised up the upper courtyard walls a little bit, started the staircase right there. So we can get to the second floor, which we probably should, but, like, I don't really have that many uh, materials. Also, Wandering Trader came by, blah, blah, blah. But, yeah, we're... We're almost out of stone. <laughs> um, and yeah, I think we're getting to the part of the world where like, okay, I need Darman in here to help me out with this because, you know, I don't want to take forever on stuff. As in, I don't want to take forever with like getting material so that we can actually build because I honestly, I would feel pretty bad if I made one of the episodes uh, about resource gathering. I think that'd be so astronomically boring for you guys to watch unless i just talked about movies the entire time like maybe if i'm doing a resource gathering i just continue to record and then you can just like hear my reactions when i'm watching a movie so you'll just get like a whole lot of what oh huh whoa like just a lot of those noises i don't know maybe that'd be funny but yeah i think because like there there's a lot of mystery with this section right here of what i need to do so actually i think i talked myself into it let's at least 
do a little bit of this staircase. Well, at least get it started because why not? Like we definitely don't have the material to actually complete it. Actually here, instead of bringing them all the way over, let's just continue to do it like this. Not like that though, but I just want to at least be able to like mark it all out. Ooh, I'm floating on nothing. Ooh. Oh yay, my mob spawner is working. Well, at least I'm not going to have any issue getting XP. Perfect. Oh yeah, dude, this grand staircase is going to look so sick. Plus, we're actually going to have to make the building pretty massive. Not even just for the enchantments, but I also need to have like a lot of trading villagers, like especially for food when I automate everything. All the other stuff, blah, blah, blah. And perfect, wow. Oh, dude, like this isn't even the, the tallest point. I think this is actually like the halfway point of the building. If we were to stand on the roof, because it's gonna get so much taller. Oh yeah, looking over there, so that definitely goes straight into like a massive ocean. I think we should definitely carve out a canal over there. Oh, maybe that's, maybe over there. Oh dude, imagine like a massive bridge going over there. Not even like an ice bridge, just like a massive bridge going over there. And then that's where um, like the, like some of the, the villager farms can be. Also, we're about to head into World War II because for some stupid reason, I leave my bed down here and I really shouldn't do that as there's like some green wieners right there coming towards me. I don't want to die. I'm about to water bucket up to a place with a lot of enemies because I didn't put any lights up here. Please nothing spawn, please nothing spawn. Yeah, at least we get a pretty view. No, one blow up on me. Okay, good. Okay, uh, yeah, let's just be smart and just use up, like, the rest of the blocks that we have. And then we'll just save this for the future. Ooh, stepping on air. Ooh. I mean, technically speaking, all of us do walk on air because there's always air molecules below our feet when we walk. <laughs> Here, let's just go and begin on the next, uh step of operations i don't know what to call it but yeah i think we need some stone slabs and then we have a bit of andesite but i know we can actually craft it but i'm pretty sure we need quartz for some of that stuff i don't remember if it was like stone and gravel makes andesite and then i think like stone and quartz makes that that white stuff not that kind of white stuff you know, not not that good powder, but like that that one white block. There's andesite. Uh, oh my god, what is it called? You you know you know what I'm talking about. Diorite. Yeah, so that that was my next guess. Because at first I was gonna say. <laughs> oh yeah. Also, woo, we're finally out of. Uh, no, okay, never mind. Never mind. Don't even need to finish that sentence. Okay, well I thought we were. Okay, but yeah, let's take all of you. We definitely need all of that stuff. God, that's all of the stone that we have left. Three and a half hours on just that. And we've only completed the walls and not even all of the walls. We, we finished the lower walls. So like the, the, the building is definitely tiny, but like, I guess it's not that tiny, but it, it doesn't feel good. It, it, it still feels too tiny. But since we're still in the beginning of the world, that's probably not a bad thing that it's so tiny because we don't exactly have um that much uh you know resources and I'm trying to think i don't think we need that much stone slabs wait i don't even think you know here we'll just get four stacks of it i don't even think we can actually um use these yet i, I think we need to continue with this stuff we need to finish all the pathways like, we can't even use that stone because we don't know where to put it. I'm curious, can I change you into anything? No, okay. Well, it was good to check. Yep, all that's prepared. I'm just gonna leave the rest of the stone, see if we get lucky. Let's say, how's our honey doing? Not that good because we haven't been over here, so never mind, don't care about it. Oh, but now we can see as soon as we come over here. That's actually not bad. That's gonna look really nice once it's done. Ooh, yeah, no, that's gonna look really nice and clean. God, I can't wait just to see this world in, like, a thousand in-game days. Like, I, I want to see how much better this world is gonna be compared to my hardcore world. The world that, like, so many of you fell in love with and subscribed for, I'm, I'm gonna blow it out of the water with this series and the, the future series, or the futuristic series on the main channel. Which I'm very, I'm, I'm kind of excited for that when I go live. 
I got a feeling with my current knowledge of Minecraft and not being such like a noob that it's just going to go a lot smoother. We're going to accomplish things so much faster. I'm not going to do like a lot of uh, pointless, stupid side tasks that I did. Okay, but anyways, so we need to think about you. Because this section right here, don't like it, no bueno. Uh, we need to find the dead center of this, and if we're lucky... God, I think if we're lucky, it's going to be two blocks for the center. I, I think we're going to be lucky with that number. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 28. Yes, okay, so 1, 2, 3, 13, 14. So I think we break these two, and then each side should have 13? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Twelve, thirteen. Okay, six. So this is the dead center. Um, God, do we actually make a circle? Mm. Okay, let me actually get a circle tool, and then from the circle tool, I'll try and make it to where it has like a two-block center, and then maybe that's how we go from there. Because we could make it fourteen. 14 wide, but that might be too big. I think if we make it 10. Okay, because if we just go from here, so one, seven, five. So one, two, three, four, five. I think from here might be a good section. It's going to be a lot of play testing. Boom, so go boom, boom, boom. Three, let me go one, two. So now this three, and then one, two. Let me go boom, boom. Three. One, two. One, two. Boom, boom. Don't worry, if you're confused on what I'm doing, I'm also confused. So, from this, we then go in. So, okay, wait, wait, wait. God, I, I hate doing circles so much. You literally have no idea. Here, let's just remove all of this. Might make it a lot simpler. Okay. So, we got this. Four. Done. One, two, three. Let me go... Wait. One, two, three. One, two, three. Then we do one, two, three, four. Four. I'm gonna lose my mind, I swear to God. <laughs> Here, okay, let's build it with the andesite. And andesite will be the block that we can break, you know, this is, this is the clear one. Okay, so one, two, and then we go one, two, three, and then one, two, three, and then we go one, two, three, four. So then this four, you then go up one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. I feel like we're doing ballet. I feel like I'm dancing with all of you. Okay, so... I think that circle is perfect. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Like, I don't know why I made a circle, if I'm being completely honest. I think I was trying to make a circle so that then I can have it come in equally and then from there after it comes in equally that's where i could build that planner i think that's what my idea was god dude it is so difficult to work with me that was sarcasm i'm so easy to work with i'm i'm such an angel <laughs> okay so then the next one let's see how it looks now because i hated how um straight across that was okay so imagining with none of the blocks right there all that's taken out i think that looks a lot better which with more pathways i think we can have that go all the way around to there we kind of just need we need a like a number rule without there and then that should work to there this one you can maybe have a pathway go straight into it or maybe we just have like another little semicircle right here but that might be too busy the thing we have that there inside of here we have grass maybe right there that's oh yeah, yeah yeah the big tree so i think the big tree goes there 
So that might be really good. And then, yeah, maybe, oh, maybe a little pathway around the tree there around the outer wall. And then against the wall, we'll just have andesite. The inside of here, we have grass. And then that's all grass uh, in this section right here. And then, okay, I, I think that's good. I think I like that. I think I like that. Uh, and then for the tree, I'm just going to custom build one. I don't think any of the natural trees are going to do uh, enough work around here. I, I don't think it's going to do any kind of justice. Any kind of justice. Where is it? You want to know how I got these impressions? <laughs> you see, my father was a jokester. So if we have a planner, okay, I think this section is okay to put down our stone slabs. I think this is an okay section for it. And then we'll immediately lead into some grass. And then we just put the tree on top. So I think, I think that's a good simple one. Not too crazy, nothing confusing. I'm definitely going to be collecting all of this stuff. So it it's probably going to be like a little shameful just to have um, like our entire build be hollow. But over my dead body, am I going to be making mega builds that are completely filled in? I'm sorry, not really. Uh, that, that will never happen. Okay, I think that was everything. Why did I do that? Because how am I going to put grass on? Oh my god. I made a little silly goose mistake. Oh my god, leave me alone! No, I don't want to go out. God, you're such a sussy pocket. What's up, guys? Yeah, okay. I know you're all looking at me and checking me out. Don't worry. Yes, I'm blushing. Blah, blah, blah. So honored. Okay, just don't. No, no, no. It's okay. You don't need to shoot me. Don't shoot your shot. You're not going to get anywhere with me. Nope. Don't need to chase me. It's okay. I Trust me. It's an honor. I mean, probably love being chased. Not really. Please leave me alone. I'm scared of interactions, but yeah. Oh, you're below me. God, dude. I thought they actually made it up here. Uh. Okay, come on. I can totally. Read, yes, you. Okay, good. Boom, boom, boom. Break you. Really want that block. Can you die faster, please, so I can go down there? I don't want to get my sword dirty. No, no, it's okay. Take your time. I don't know. I, I, I understand. Oh, okay. I didn't know you guys were here. That's awkward. Okay, so we'll just leave that there. Future me will remember all of that stuff. I... Hmm... Hmm... Let's think. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So... This should always be... Like, for the building rule, the uh, stone slab should always be on the outside of the stones. I think, to make this look even prettier, what if we destroy this block right here and we replace... Just, just one block wide with grass. And then this block right next to the grass, I think we make with stone slabs. And then we wrap this around the tree. I think that's a good idea. So, grass, and then let's just mark this. Actually, here, let's just go through and mark it off with this. Plus, I think if we just take up as much space around this so everything's not so, like, massive... Uh, it, it should look a lot better for us because it'll just put a lot more detail into the build. So I think this is like an even like more correct choice. Oh, and then on top of the grass, we could put leaves. Which should only come up um, like a slab of leaves on top of this. You know, like it, it shouldn't um, come up too tall. So I think that'll look even better. Oh, dude, how do I do it? I don't know. Like, I'm just so... Amazing and goaded with the sauce. And then we also get a nice refund on all of these stone bricks. Like, yes, queen. Thank you so much. I'm going to regret removing all of these because it's going to be a lot more difficult to put down the, the grass blocks, but whatever. Actually, I'll just leave one. Ah, you're so stupid. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. I can fix this. I can totally fix this. Uh, you. There. Okay, perfect. Remove you. Boom. Okay, we leave you for all the grass. Yeah, I think I think I like that. And then... Okay, so... You are gonna have some stone bricks right there. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, no, stone slabs. And then stone bricks here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, easy number. I think we then just follow this out. Here, we'll... 
We'll use a lot of our stone bricks just to finish this little pathway, just to see how everything looks. So six, so then you come in by one. And we get a little bit confusing here. So then one, two, three, four, five, six. As I think we need to make sure that it's six across everything. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, right, six. There we go. Okay, yeah, because I need to make that two. Okay, okay. One, two, three, four, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So then from here, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have a little mystery right here. Um, because we can't go like one, two, three, four, because like that's just going to go like super duper far out. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, because like that's not enough. Maybe just like that, but then these corners right here are really awkward. Uh, maybe we've got like one, two, three, four, five, six. I, th I think that's good enough. I get super fat right here and then it just gets like really skinny, but I think that's okay. Okay, so I think it was like that and yeah, okay. I, I think this pathway is pretty good. I think this is decent. Oh, and then this can go to the outer walkway over there. Ooh, yeah, I think I like that idea. Uh, we do have a lot of uh, stone bricks, so we, we could attempt it. Awesome, you stole one of my stone bricks, so. I'm so sorry, master. I must go all out just this once. Ow, okay, well, uh, that wasn't me going all out. I, I had to hold back a little bit. So now, let's go and wrap this around, and then we'll be, like, that kind of a uh, border around it instead of just, like, only on the edges of it. Make it, like, a little bit nicer and thicker. Or I guess you could call it just full. And then we'll just leave you here because I might make this entire pathway go out there because I'm, I'm thinking about our, our mule and... Especially on there, like, this might feel very wide for, you know, a regular human, but once we're on that horse, like, especially when we're running across the bridge right there, which, like, you know, it's only three wide, but, like, it feels super, super tiny when we're on the mule. That's what I'm kind of thinking about, like, all of these uh, pathways up here. Which, yeah, god, even then, this is still gonna be really tight. Hew, 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 hew. And then, let's just bring this lovely little border all the way over here. And then same thing, we'll just make it go forward. I don't know how wide, like, mm, mm. no, we can't make it that wide, but and uh, that's for future me to figure out. There we go, perfect. And then let's go and make this border. So I'm trying to think of the trading hall walls right here. I don't know if I want it to just be one block. It's like, I, I might go around with stone uh, bricks again and then just like extend this over by one. That might be a good choice. I just realized this is going to be all stone for this section, so that kind of sucks a little bit, but whatever. I'm shocked I actually didn't make enough of the stone slabs. It's all Darman's fault. Okay, so we'll leave it like this, because I don't know uh, what I want to do with the castle walls just yet. So, oh, dude, this is already looking so nice. Like, it, it looks really plain right now, probably, like, insanely basic. But we haven't been adding in like any of the uh, the colorful blocks yet. Like we're just working on stone so far. I think once we add in the um, oh my god, I don't have that mod. You, I love that mod where like whatever slab you're looking at, that's the one that you break. Uh, I, yeah, we need to add that soon. But um, yeah, once we actually go through and start adding in a lot of the the grass and other colorful blocks, this place should look a lot better. I don't think that I mind, um, like, how much stone there is. I, I, I still think this is going to look really nice, regardless of doing the uh, texturing. I'm just not really a fan of it. Like, I, I like texturing, but, like, eh. Okay, um, up next. Uh, I think... I think we should wait on the andesite... for a little bit longer. I swear to God, dude, I think that's a different party. I don't think that's the same one that was over there because why would they travel all the way over here and then come up the stairs? Dude, I know you guys don't like your woodland mansion. I know it's very pathetic, kind of dumb, little lame because, you know, I didn't make it, but, you know, you, you guys can't have my building over here. Oh my god. Okay, I think if I do it like that... Even if he dies to fire, I don't think 
that's going to give me the bad omen. Really wish I could see his health so when he comes up here I could just like push him off. <gasps> oh wait, no, that's what I do. Okay, okay, don't shoot me. Thank you. Okay, now come over here and jump on this one. Come on. Come on. Ow. Don't unalive yourself with my armor, please. Please, just, just step up here, stupid. There we go. Okay, so I need you to come up here. Without shooting me. It's stairs. Just walk. You don't need to jump. Okay, this might be tall enough. I don't want to hit you. Just to be safe. Just fall. Thank you. Yes! Voluntary exile. I don't know what that means, but sick. Um, I... Mm, I would collect these, like I did in the hardcore series, but like, I don't think I'd ever use them. Especially like here, like, yeah, they're they're cool, but if I ever get into flags, then I'll probably just come up with my own design. I probably should get into them. Like, I've never actually tried those out or really done anything with them, but I feel like they're gonna be too tiny for the scale of what we're building. But yeah, let's go get some dirt. Let's go get some other thingies, get some woods just so I can mark uh, the tree area because I don't think I'm going to be able to finish it this episode. I'm going to try my best to finish this entire lower courtyard, but you know, might not happen. If I don't, it's just another pay cut for garments, whatever. Uh, since we have so much dirt, let's actually do like a lot of it with uh, regular dirt. And then we'll just use a little bit of grass blocks just to get the grass started. Um, and then I needed... Actually, yeah, that, that should be enough. I would load up our mule with blocks, but like, eh. I don't know why I don't, but you know. Okay, and then we just need you. And let's also bring you. Just so I can mark where I want to put these. And now I don't have enough room, so there you go. Give me that. Perfect. Like, it's so weird to me how enjoyable... Minecraft is without the elytra and shulkers. Like, I don't know why, it just, it feels more fulfilling, in a sense, to go and do all of these things. I think it also just adds a lot of appreciation into your world. Like, everything that you're building, especially, like, pathways, like, you, you kind of appreciate and, like, really think about them a lot more, because when you have an elytra, it doesn't matter, you can get to any location that you want. Oh my god, no, it's my greatest enemy, he wants to play Spleef. Oh no, he has an enchanted shovel gonna do a really really sick jump and come up here and break the dirt right below me oh god there we go perfect okay i like that and then for you boom gimme never mind i was just kidding i didn't actually want it so that's why i said that because i knew you, you weren't gonna give it to me Reverse psychology. This is gonna be a nightmare to light up everything down there. Like, we should actually really probably... Oh, God, I didn't bring any more torches. But we should really probably go down there and actually light it all up because it's about to get really wicked in a not-so-good way. But see? Like, look. Oh, dude, look at that. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. Am I the only one that wishes, because I would totally use this as well, imagine like you get a slab, but then you can cut it in half, so it'd only be like starting from this pixel to the left. Just imagine how nice and how clean you can make all of your builds if you just had that little block. Oh, the dreams. Like, there's- I'm actually, like, really positive that there is a mod that lets you do that. Like, you can actually just carve out the block like that, but, eh. Okay, so then for the tree... We'll just... Uh, do that. So, that- That'll definitely indicate to me that, like, oh yeah, build tree here. So, we're fine with that. Wait, oh Wait, no, 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 we don't need you right there. Wait, we also don't need you right there. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can have like some really awkward uh, grass right there. It's probably going to look like incredibly stupid, but yeah, why not? Yeah, you too. Okay. D Darman, you were such a silly goose. Why did you put those there? You silly willy. Yeah, because we just need it like that. And then boom. Boom. Uh-huh. Not like that. Yeah, it's a little dark under there. Yeah, yeah. I think once we... Uh, Finish putting this down. We should probably go light it all up. Uh, yeah, let's we'll just leave it like that. Oh, and then here's another idea. So, okay, so we have a little bit of the leaves left. 
So if we just put you like that, and then boom with the leaves right there. Yeah, I think I love that a ton. Dude, like just imagine the leaves if they had a low taper fade. <laughs> I'll just put you around just so that all the grass can actually like grow a lot faster as I almost fall in there and scream. Perfect. And then with all the leaves that we have, I think I want to put leaves against the stone brick like this, and then maybe I'll come back with some um some bone meal. And then we'll put actual, like, grass in here. Maybe some flowers as well. Just to make it look a little bit nicer. But, like, oh, dude. Just, th just this amount of color. Like, it's brown right now, but it's going to be more green. I think it's just going to make this place look so much more alive and better. Maybe we don't want any andesite. Maybe we actually just want to use grass for everything. Because it's already so gray. But I think we're better off just having grass everywhere. I think that's gonna make it look a lot more alive and like fancy and just pretty. Oh, and then maybe from the tree we could have some like leaves like going over uh, to, you know, like this section. And then we can have like fences like every now and then. We could put lanterns just to help light up the place because uh, that's going to be a requirement for all of our mega builds. I want to somehow manage to um light up everything i think we can also make some gray carpet and then maybe we go through and we just remove all of the blocks along the uh the edge and then we put down like shroom lights or glowstone just some kind of light block and then we put gray carpet on top of it that might look really really fancy and nice and it should light up all of the edges and then for the middle sections right here that's why i think we build a big tree that has leaves like going across like vines and then we just you know hang some lanterns and that might be good and then if that's not good enough we can you know probably construct some kind of um like pillar and then like put like a light on it make some like lanterns go around everywhere but yeah that's just my thoughts very nice i think that'll all do really really good there we go let's just make it a little bit more darker down there just so it's even more difficult for me to light up everything why not nice everything's coming along perfectly and with the amount of torches that we have let's go suffer why not oh, actually not bad i was expecting a lot more and a lot more of you just spun in okay cool well thank you guys so much for you know raising my expectations mid-sentence i love how hard of workers you, you guys are here let's Let's just go around and messily put down all of these things. And then we're just gonna come back and like make a nice little grid. Can you stop trying to shoot me? Yeah, that was kind of karma right there. Yeah. Hey, if you hurt me, you're hurting yourself, okay? I'm, I'm technically I'm protecting you guys by dodging. I feel like I'm running away from toddlers right now while I'm carrying bleach and they're just complaining because they're not drinking the bleach and I'm just protecting them. I, th I think that's a good analogy. Probably not, but at least it's funny. Maybe funny. No, you cannot drink the bleach. I, I know it looks nummy, probably smells nummy to you, but no. Don't. 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 Nope. No. Yeah. Um, that was a lot smoother than what I was expecting. I, I was expecting way more enemies down here with how dark it is, but hey. Guess I'm just too much better than them. Okay, uh, picked up all that stuff. Okay, yeah, let's go back home. I need to make a lot more torches. Oh, also, so I saw a screenshot from Lagundo on Twitter. Can you guys tell me, concrete powder, if I were to put that, like, you know, just on the ground, uh, nothing above it, if rain hits it, does it stay as powder, or does it actually uh, turn into just concrete? Because I could have sworn it turns into concrete. But when I saw uh, the screenshot on Twitter, like, it, I'm pretty sure it was raining, at least, like, you know, every now and then in there. But, like, it looks like it wasn't, so I'm, I'm just a little curious on that. Because if it doesn't uh, turn into concrete, that might be really nice for some of our flooring. Do I not have spider eyes? Really? Oh. Interesting. Yeah, now thinking about it, I don't think that we should actually use any um, andesite for the build. I, I think we're a lot better off with uh, grass everywhere. It's just, it's going to make it look so much more lively and pretty and just, you know, 
Trying to make the building blush. I'm trying to eat all the cakes in a uh, specific order to where I could just like run up them. Like like a really steep staircase. I don't know why. It just might, might be like funny to have that. I'm so eepy. Let me go eepy time. Thank you. Oh, I am so stupid. Oh my god. I made that entire track and I didn't make more torches. Literally the reason why I went back to our base. Oh my god. Uh, okay, whatever. We'll, we'll go do the lighting later. At least I put down something over there. God, dude, I can't. Come on, Darman. Like, I can't believe you're not reminding me about all these things. <sighs> really slacking. Okay, so we'll just leave all of that. Like, I feel like we really should. I feel like... Okay, I almost just fell, but... Like, I, I at least, like, one, you know? Like, I, I think we should at least have one more stone go around. Like, I don't know if I just want to do one or two. It's just, it looks too thin. It looks way too thin and just like, eh. Whereas, like, if we make it too wide going around... It'll make the outer wall look a lot thicker and more impressive. I, I, um, yeah, let's do that. I, I I think two is gonna be the right number. Yeah, yeah, I think I like that. And then... Uh, honestly, screw it. Let's just do this. Which, you know, we don't need to uh, put stone there, whatever. Okay, then for you... Yeah, this part gets a little confusing then. Um, uh, hmm. You know what? Maybe we just have it end right here because i don't know how to continue it or how to end it off no stonewall i swear it's not you it's me i'm just kidding i'm perfect it is you. <laughs> okay so one little building trick is you should be able to go like three in any direction that you look just ignore right there but yeah i think all of these are now extended by two which yeah i think this is a good one plus and i want to do something on the edge just to have like some kind of a railing, but I don't know if I want to use walls because walls just feel like such a cheap and easy way to build and do that. Like I, I'm trying to think of like random blocks that could fit, you know, uh, like the um, the need that we need, you know, you know what I'm trying to say? God, dude, I can't speak. I'm sorry. I'm speaking Sky's language right now. Like maybe we use uh, lecterns. You know, maybe that could be our railing, but then, you know, it's wood, so it probably won't go that well with our building. Like, being honest, as a viewer, like, you, yeah, after a while, like, you gotta get used to my yapping. Like, watching so many Sky's videos, I feel like you should be educated in the Sky's language. So at some point, I could just be like, you know, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, you know, you know. Like, I could just do that, and then you know exactly what I'm talking about, like, uh, how I'm trying to build. Like, I, we need to get to that kind of, uh, like, creator-viewer relationship to where you guys just understand my pointless yapping. There, okay. Did I end it over there the same way that I ended it right here? How did I end it? Okay, I ended it like that. Ooh, maybe we have a go there? Might be a good way to end it, question mark? But then this section over here makes it a little awkward because like we go that, but then no, no, no. Okay, I think I think that's good. Yeah, I think that's how we should end it. Wow, you grew really fast. Okay, so then you go to there, perfect. Go out just like that. Okay, uh, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. you went out like this. Boom. Perfect. Making so much progress. Plus, I think I'm going to force myself to finish a mega build completely before we begin the next one. Or else we're going to have another hardcore world uh, situation where all of my buildings are not completed. Now, for this outer section, like, I don't think we should have it this wide. I think... Like, I'm thinking tiny pathway. It's not really meant for uh, mounts, you know? It's for walking. So maybe we just keep cutting it in by one block as it goes out, like this. And then since it's for walking, maybe we only have it um, three wide. The hardest part is making this curve to where it's kind of equal distance from the outer wall to the inner wall. That's my biggest worry because I don't know how. One way is just doing dirt out. Because, oh yeah, yeah, okay, because... We want to make this entire section 
um, grass. So I think if we just keep going out like 10 blocks or however long that block is to like the block over here, and then we just do it with dirt first, and then we come back with our stone pathway, and maybe that's how we calculate everything. Because I, I think with that way of doing it, it should actually be like completely impossible to mess it up. I think I like that idea. I, I think that's a really good idea. So actually, we need to first go around with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we want to have a stone outline. This is going to be expensive. I hope that I collected enough stone for all of you. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so then, let's see. I guess including the stone thingy. Uh, yeah, let's just do some dirt. Uh, if I could even get under this. Okay, let me break you two. Okay, so, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. God, this build feels so tiny. Okay, but here, we'll just keep going by seven. Right? Yeah. No, I think that should be... Kind of fine. Wait, no. That's not gonna work. So... Because you go out to here, because for that stone... So eight? That's what I'm feeling like right now, just... Big old... Okay, but here, let's just keep trying to figure it out. Because, yeah, because we're going off of the next block. This right here is going to be stone. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, I think we just keep going by eight. Because we need this to curve inwards. So, you know, this should be eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, at least we're going to be using up all of this dirt that I recently got. So that's nice. Eight. Now we reach the issue of when we need to go this direction. I think, wait, wait, wait. I think we can go like one more. So one, two, three, four, seven, eight. Eight. Uh, but now when we go this way, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, four. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Okay, yeah, no, I, th I think that's okay. I think that's good. Everything's still lining up. Yeah, that should be fine. I'm now realizing, though, that I'm not um, putting in any grass, and that's going to make all of this take so much longer to grow. I have a little bit of an oopsie-poopsie there. Oh, God, even down below, I'm not putting any lights in. Oh, uh, it's going to get so dark. Oh, God. Okay, well, at least we used up all of those. Grass should, you know, hopefully start growing soon. Uh, about out of everything, but... Okay. Let's attempt this. I might mess this up quite drastically, but oh well. So we need to go one, two, three. And then... Okay, because stone, stone. Stone will go here. Stone will go here. So one, two, three. Three. Wait, no. Stone, stone. Stone. Let's not do that. I'm already messing up, and I think I went forward two blocks, so never mind. We're not even going to touch that. We're definitely just going to go get a lot more. I think, uh, off the top of my head, I think we need four stacks. No. Six stacks. Yeah, we need about, like, six stacks of stone slabs, maybe. Okay, so let's go get refueled. Dude, I can't wait to see this when it's done. Oh, my God. Oh, dude. Oh, I miss mega builds. Oh, I miss big, beautiful things. Like, Darman. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, that should be all that we need. And then we need a lot more stone bricks. Honestly, let's just turn all of that into stone bricks. Like, we're 100% going to use them up, so this won't go to a waste. Okay, so that's all good. Next up, we need a lot of dirt. Let's get one thing of you. And then I'm not forgetting the torch. Actually, no, here, we got you, okay? You can actually carry some stuff. So we'll let you carry all of that. 
can carry these two. Okay, perfect. Because, yeah, no, we, we need to actually light up everything down there or else we're going to be running into huge, huge problems. I don't know why I just did that. Okay, so you, boom, boom. That might be enough torches. I, I think we're okay with just that. Okay, I don't think I'm forgetting anything this time. I, I think we're good. I think we're good to go. But yeah, we need to light up that underside like insanely fast. Things are going to be spawning as we're working in there. So I think for us to end off the episode, I just want to fill in all of this. I don't want there to be any holes. Um, maybe the tree... And, like, all the beautification of the land and um, putting down, like, lighting everywhere. We'll leave that for a later episode. Like, I think this is number five. So, number six, we should be doing the upper courtyard. And then once we're done with the upper courtyard, I think we'll come back on episode seven. And that's when we make everything down here super beautiful. And then maybe episode eight is when we begin making the foundation and, like, the, the wall placement of um, the trading hall. Because it's going to be a very big boy, so yeah. Now, I think for lighting, let's go like... So from here and then go one, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. Oh yeah, there it goes. One, two, three, five. Boom, okay. So if we do it like that, we should be able to make a nice grid. I think torches count as entities. Oh, maybe they don't. Okay, no, I don't think torches count as entities. So we should be good for lag. But um, even then, I think in the future we'll still come back and swap out all torches for the light blocks. But we definitely need like some kind of a farm for our light blocks. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, five. Hi! Yep, we're gonna be getting a whole lot of that. Five. Perfect. Okay. And then we just need to go around and start cleaning up the torches around this so we can tell exactly where our line is. Okay, nice. We need to get out of here incredibly fast. And this is when I'm going to have to start being really careful where, uh, where we do our water buckets because I don't want to remove these torches. That's also kind of a reason why I just want to use light blocks over torches. Like, we could use lanterns, because we do have a lot of those. Technically, an infinite amount of those, but... Eh? I'm also shocked how slow mobs spawn in here. Because, I mean, like, this entire place is dark, but I never really see them spawn, so it's kind of weird. Okay, and then let's just start in the dark area. So then we go one, two... Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, one... And then by doing everything by five blocks, this should completely spawn proof everything like uh i'm pretty sure you can actually spread them out even farther but i just don't really want to test any of that out i'd rather just you know put all of these and just be safe i don't really care about how, like how much i use one two three four five there we go don't really care about how many i use i just want to be safe okay let's go around and start cleaning up all of the random ones that i place that don't matter this should start spawning things in okay everything should be clean ready to go for placing down torches wow this is a lot easier than what i was expecting one two three four five, one, two, three, four, five. maybe my world just likes me you know like, maybe I'm just so baby girl to my world that it just doesn't want to harm me, you know, and send all these scary monsters after me. It's like, especially since, like, I don't care about surviving. Like, I'm not trying to, like, not get into any danger. I'm shocked that I haven't died yet by doing something, like, incredibly stupid. So even though we're not doing hardcore, I'm going to laugh if I just never die in this world. So, like, technically playing in hardcore and not using any totem or shield. Oh, and then I think I'm going to leave all of the signs everywhere because it might just be a cool thing to like come back to in the future you know, it's like uh it's a little bit of the history of this world okay so i went through uh completely lit up the entire bottom floor which i think i took like five stacks six stacks of torches but we shouldn't have any issues with anything spawning down there ever again as long as i just like don't let water go down there also how are you doing so i like how the grass is only growing this direction it's not growing in this direction whatsoever I find that like a little bizarre but um anyways okay so back to this important stuff need to complete this before I forget about it forever. Um, Jesus. Yeah, no, I'm not even going to continue that one. We're just going to continue placing out all the dirt and then we'll do the pathway because that's 
That's gonna be messy. Um, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. However, now we have this corner. So yeah, I think we just need to go around everywhere and just put stone slabs down. Ooh, maybe, like, maybe we should put down some guard towers, but I don't know why I don't wanna do that. I feel like that would also kind of take away from like the look that we're achieving right now. Oh, oh yeah. Nice. Like, I don't, I don't think that's bad to have it right there. I think it makes sense. But then looking over here, hmm. I don't know, we'll, we'll come to that in the future. Not like that. Okay, so that's all good. And then, yes, we should have... I think we'll... Yeah, because, like, you know, it's already wide over here. This is meant for a mount, so I think we'll have a mount go that way as well. Okay, I'm, I'm liking the placement of everything. Everything is making sense to me, looking good. And then for you... Yeah, see, already just right there, I, I already messed it up. Jesus. Okay, yep, nope, didn't want this. I think we're good with all of that. Um, I don't want to lose these two blocks, though. It's like the only downside is just how long it takes to get back up. And then I'm pretty sure I asked this, like, in the previous episode, and I'm, like, 99% positive the answer is going to be yes. But are you guys interested in me just streaming me collecting materials for a build? Because that's something that you guys would actually want to watch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, oh, no, I don't think I ever got, like, a, a response from this uh, as well, but, um, if I do stream s uh, stuff, just so you can actually follow along with the, I guess, like, the story of the world, do you want us, like, do you want Darman to turn the stream into an episode, or do you just not care about that? Like, you just, you know, next episode's like, oh, wow, magically, I just have so much stuff. Okay, so with this section... I don't think I need a pathway to come out to here. I mean, it's easy to like add and fix, but I think we're okay with just making this all dirt. Oh my God, I need to stop letting it get so dark. Please, nothing spawn up here, especially because I took away their spawnable areas down below. No creeper, no creeper, no creeper. Okay. Oh my God, Ooh, don't want to fall down there. I don't know why I always freak out to that. Like I'm not gonna die. Doesn't matter if I do. Not like that. Okay, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I think we just crossed into this section perfectly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, just ignore that side, but other than that, you know, it's all perfect. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and I think that, I think that perfectly lines up with that side. Like, I'm pretty sure these two line up with those two down there. So I, I think we're good. I don't think we made any mistake yet. I mean, even though, like, pfft, like let, let's be real. I'm so incapable of making mistakes. I've never even made one in my life. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Wait, how did I do it over here? Little twicky white there. Okay, okay. Oh, wait. Yeah, because I, wait, wait. Didn't I only start eight uh, when it was, like, lined up perfectly with that section? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, okay. So that's how I ended it off. Okay, so I think the eight was here? It was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that's right. Yeah, yeah, I, th I think that's right. Yeah, because this still needs to go forward. And yeah, yeah I think that's right. So once again, you know, I just, it's literally impossible for me to make a mistake. Like I'm just allergic to them. Oh my gosh, <gasps> I think we're done with all of the dirt. Okay, so we have the left side of it, but the right side, 
This section, I'm a little uncertain of how I want to do it. I'm, I'm pretty sure I just want this to be a straight cut forward. Actually, no, we don't need to worry about the right side of it because the bridge is always going to be, well, the pathway is going to be three blocks wide all the way across. So actually, I don't think we need to worry about that side at all. We just have to keep following the three block rule out here. And then the rest of the build is just going to make itself. I know you guys are so welcome to how I build. You know, I'm just exposing all my secrets because they're just so difficult to comprehend. Okay, so now following you. Why does I not feel Wait, oh, that's right. Mule. Hello, Bati. Yeah, just give me everything. I feel like I'm already messing this up. Because that feels wrong. Yeah, no. Okay, here. We'll remove you because I just felt really wrong to have it like that. Before I forget, let's go do it to the other side. See, that already feels wrong because why does it get so skinny in some areas? Uh, okay, we'll do three across and then at some points we'll probably have to come back and like extend it by like a block here or there. Three. Okay, that was super fast, but now we're already going this direction. Actually, I think our path... Mm. Mm. Yeah, like sections are like right there. I really want to extend it. Okay, here, let's go and mirror it on this side over there before I make any decision like that. Because I think I know how I want to extend it. Okay, perfect, perfect. Ooh. Okay, so here, we're just going to cut this across just like this. Thank God I had enough. And I think we just do straight line across. I, like, I don't think we need to do any fancy shapes. I think just going straight across is honestly probably our, our best bet. And then I think uh, the rest is just going to look really pretty. I think I like that. Man, gee. Lower courtyard is coming along so, so clean. Boop. Okay. So looking at all of these. Actually, here, let's just go get like a nice little aerial shot. This is when uh, scaffolding would come in a lot of handy. Dude, okay, you gotta admit, that's looking beautiful. Oh, this is coming along so well. Oh, I love this. That was such a good idea to make this really skinny. And then just having like big thick pathways down there for the mounts. This is just for walking around. Again, I wish I built this bigger. I think I really underestimated this entire location. Like we probably should have gone into the river a bit. Probably should have covered over that island with how, like, massive I wanted this place to look. But it's our first building, you know? We got forever in this world. We got years to come, decades to come. I like that. And it, they're probably just going to keep on getting bigger and bigger, especially when I get more material, because I am insanely limited. Like, I basically have no material, so, like, we couldn't make this so big. But... I think I love this. I want it. Mm. No, no, no. We do have to extend the, the skinny pathway out just a little bit. It's a little bit too skinny to my liking. We need to make it very BBW. <laughs> so I think for any section to where it's only two blocks before like a slab would hit, I think we extend it, especially like right there. I think we just ex expand it out by one. I think I'm just going to keep running back and forth and placing them in the exact same spots that I placed it on the other side, just so I don't mess up. Because I, I want this to be a perfect mirror. So I think I said here, and especially there, I think you're good, you're good, you're good. This isn't good. So, I need to go in one, two, wait, yeah, because right here, so one, two, three, four. So then we need to go in one, two, three, four, and I think it was right there. So then boom. Maybe this spot, so once we get to the, the three. So I think it was this three. Maybe that's all good? I think that's good. I think that's good. I think that's mirrored correctly. So we got one, two, three, four, five. On the left side, we got one, two, three, four, five. And then after that, the next, like, up. It's only three left side. It goes up one, two, three, and it goes up two. Then it goes up two. It goes two, 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 two. Yeah. Okay. I think we mirrored it perfectly correctly. I like that. Now we just need to go around the stone. And then I think I like leaving this little indent right there instead of just like making it flat. I kind of like that. So it has like a little bit more shape. 
I, I don't know why, but I just, I, I think this looks uh, really clean and nice. Damn, even below this looks really cool. Oh, dude, I can't wait until this building is done. Oh, this is gonna look so, so sick. I wish that just all blocks would just pop up when you break them. It would be it's just so nice instead of the ones that just, for no reason, just fall straight down. Oh, thank God. So I made like a little bit extra on the slabs than we actually need, but oh man, did I very luckily make enough. Thank God, we don't need to travel back. But I think the idea of going to like the really skinny parts and just extending them by one block, like that was perfect. No, you can actually just run through this. You're, you're never like, oh no, I'm getting too close to, you know, the, the slab. So I, I like that. Nice little peaceful walk through here. Oh, dude, this is so nice. God, I love this lower courtyard. I am wondering if... Hmm, maybe we go only on the outside for leaves? Like, maybe we don't do the inside of this? Or maybe... Because, I mean, dude, like, just looking at this. This looks so nice. So maybe... Except for right here, I kind of like having no leaves right here. They're only against the wall. I think right there, that's, like, really good. But then maybe for this and... Maybe this one too. Maybe we do leaves all the way around it. I'll, I'll do that and then, you know, if there's a top comment saying like, no, you should remove the inner outer ring leaves. Like, just say that. I'll, I'll not understand what you're talking about, but maybe I will. So we'll just do that. Plus, it might be funny just to see if I know what you're talking about. But I think if you just say like the... The inside of the outer ring for the lower courtyard remove the leaves, then, you know, then I'll do that. But I think having leaves around everywhere should be really, really clean and look good. I 100% didn't bring enough dirt for those parts, so that sucks. Oh, we're so close to finishing. Dang it. Actually, here, we'll just use this as well. I don't care. Go. Okay, well, at least all that's growing. Uh, yeah, let's just start putting this down. I just want to see what this is going to look like. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the right choice. I, I think I like that because we can still put in grass in there as well just to get, like, uh, some more vegetation in life. Maybe even just put down some regular saplings and, you know, we just grow them and then, you know, add some, like, more depth and everything in there, add some more life and stuff because... I don't want the world to be flat. That was one thing that was missing from the hardcore world, and that was, you know, trees, vegetation, bushes. There we go. Okay, so not bad. Not bad. We don't really need, like, too much more material. Okay, let's go mule. I think I mentioned this in the beginning of the episode, but yeah, like, uh, I need you guys to choose a name for him. Should we call him Cloud, or should we call him Limit? Maybe we just call him Cloud, because I think Limit should be for the, like, absolute fastest mount. Oh god, no way. Please tell me. Do I have a lot of leaves? Oh, cool. Okay, phew, I got 40. Man, I was so worried that I was gonna be super low on it. Uh, do I have any shears? I do. Cool. A lot of shears. Okay, yeah. Let's go and collect a lot of leaves. Uh, probably shouldn't touch our tree farm for leaves because, you know, we do struggle with getting saplings from it. Uh, Jesus. Wait, is there even any trees left out here? I feel like I kind of chopped them all down. Probably should plant, like, some random single trees. Uh, wow, yeah, this is like super desolate. Wait, that's right. We do have a guardian temple in that direction. We can use sea lanterns for everything. Yeah, we can actually do that. That might not be too shabby. Okay, there we go. Uh, hopefully almost four stacks. Maybe? Like, maybe we can finish off the rest of it. I just don't want to spend too much time doing this. Because I got to end the episode soon, bruv. I need to go get a bottle of water. God, dude, there's so many iron golems. Yeah, I think we need to kill them soon. Yes, hello, my beauty. Just imagine how much more insane the builds are going to be in, like, a year from now. Especially if now all I do is just building instead of, you know, surviving and doing challenges. Like, I can actually, like, legit play Minecraft. Oh, okay. There we go. Wow. The ground is finally done. Yeah, I don't know why it just it looks so tiny to me. I, I can't get over that fact. Yes. Okay, sweet. We had enough for everything and I, I think we're done. 
I think I actually managed to, uh, to finish everything that we wanted to build for this episode. I just realized we kind of just made, like, a pumpkin. Or, like, a jack-o'-lantern. Or, like, a really, like, evil face. Because there's the eyes and here's the mouth. And I actually, like, I legit didn't plan for that whatsoever. But, um, anyways... Oh my gosh, dude. Like, uh, it's just, like the bare bones of this like there's there's no real details into this yet like there's no like you know everything that i talked about earlier lighting uh, random vegetation blah 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 but dude this looks so sick i'm gonna need to think of like the uh the edge around here because like you know we can't just leave it flat but like oh my god oh, dude i can't wait until the upper courtyard is done oh dude th this entire building just looks so sick Oh, and then I think I figured out a way on how we're going to be lighting up at least the... Actually, no, the grass and the stone area is uh, with gray carpet around, uh, like, all the edges. So it'll give it a little bit more of, like, a little swoopy thingy everywhere. And it should light up everything with sea lanterns. And then for this section in here, like, you guys are going to see this in the future in the hardcore episode. But I think we'll either go along the edges of all of the leaves and then we're just going to put sea lanterns along all of this and then we're gonna put moss carpet on top of it because very luckily i do have moss i don't remember how i got it i think it was oh it was probably from one of like the sunken ships maybe i don't know but we put moss carpet on top of it you'll you'll be able to notice the moss carpet but you know you're gonna be able to notice the gray carpet out here but it's gonna hide all of the blocks and then we shouldn't have any issue with Things spawning like I'm pretty sure doing that everywhere should actually make this entire place a uh, spawn proof the only issue is this area which I think that's when the tree is going to come in handy with the, uh, the the drooping leaves everywhere and then putting uh, lanterns on top of it plus just so we have something above us that's something that I want to figure out how to build is how do you deal with the sky because just having it like this where there's nothing above you I find that very boring I find that like really lazy like, uh, creatively. So, yeah, we, we need to figure out that part. But, oh, dude, this building is coming along so perfectly. Like, I'm, I'm actually executing it pretty close to how I've been uh, picturing it in my head. So, I'm pretty happy with that. I, I, I think originally I wanted a fountain here. But I think a tree is just going to work a lot better. It's going to be a lot more uh, fantasy and magical. However, I think... The next episode, because, like, the next episode, it's not going to take that long. It's just the upper courtyard. Like, that's going to be really, like, tremendously easier than everything that we had to do down here. So, first off, I need to take you with me because I need to stop forgetting that everywhere whenever, like, I'm done in, in, a, uh, in an area. But I think next episode, we're going to spend, like, maybe half of it just resource gathering. Because I really don't want to do that too many episodes. I'd rather sacrifice, like, one episode doing a lot of resource gathering than having to do resource gathering for, like, every single episode. And then, you know, we're definitely going to have to do a stream soon. And or have Darman join and uh, help me with the, the hole. Just two dudes helping each other out with the hole, you know what I'm saying? Like... Just total bro stuff. But I think we're I think we're done with that one. Um it was a little bit less, like a few hours less than two days. However, I don't think like there's anything that I need to do. I'd rather just go and start on the next episode and you know, just keep keep the the, the train going. I don't know. Jesus. Yeah, we haven't even made a dent in any of the like dirt chests. My god. Yeah, especially no more stone. <laughs> That's so depressing to think about how, like, there's just, there, there's no more stone. I have three and a half hours and I used it up just on the lower court, the uh, lower courtyard. Like, that. that's actually just so disappointing to think about. Um, okay, so I need to find, actually, here. We'll just store all of you into here. Not like that. That should be good. Uh, our stuff is pretty healed. Actually, you know what, here, uh, Darman's stuff right here. Yeah, I remember you, I think I just needed 11, 11, no, no, definitely not 11. N not even close to 11, okay. That sucks. <laughs> so here, let's grab our sticks, a lot of logs, and yeah, let's just go do a little bit of trading just to, like, fully heal everything. Let's be kind to future me. Please, everyone, trade with me. And perfect, okay, cool. 
All right, luckily we didn't even like do that much damage to all our tools. So that's really nice. That's gonna bug me. Okay, phew, man, that was that was so much to do. Thank God I did that this episode. <laughs> all right there. Uh, since we're almost out of food, I'll take you. Actually, let's just be honest. Okay, it's close enough. Uh, sorry for wasting that one. There we go. Take you, and I think we can make it to the mountain in time. Okay, completely empty on everything. Run, Cloud, run. No, please don't do that. Come on, no, no, no. Okay, we need, we, we got a lot of area to cover. Oh, yay, please be lightning. God, dude, this world rains so much. Like, why? Come on, we can make it, we can make it. Come on, Cloud. That's so weird how it doesn't rain in here. <laughs> it just rains right here, got it. Go, 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 come on, before things start spawning in. You're the fastest mule ever. Not really, I'm just trying to make him feel better. Come on. And perfect. Okay, sweet. I just wanted to get to this spot just so, you know, we can immediately begin this in the next episode. Oh my god, there's still so much dirt. Like, why? <laughs> Uh, at least we're starting to get to the stone area, so hopefully next episode, like, you know, th after three, maybe four hours of digging, maybe I'll spend one day doing it. You know, may maybe we'll just do, like, a metric ton of digging and mining for, like, one day, and then the other day we'll just be building the upper courtyard, which you can actually see it. Yeah, I like how you can actually see, like, a little bit of the staircases and everything. I don't know why it's green instead of just all gray, and then that part over there is, like, blue. But dude, just like oh, dude, I, I, I love thinking about it. How probably not in that far of the future, like we're just gonna be able to look around our world and then just see all of these mega structures. Like that's why I want to build everything so colossally huge. You know, even though that one is kind of a little baby, but I just want to build everything just so massive because of this distance mod. Being able to see all of your buildings and progress and everything, we need to build something there. Maybe that's where I'm gonna build my house. It's just gonna look so sick just looking around everywhere and just seeing just all of this progress and life and you know just all of your builds like oh it's gonna look so sick i'm so excited but that's gonna be the end of this episode i would like to think that we made a lot of progress on this one so i hope you guys are excited to see like even in like the next three episodes what the trading hall is gonna look like because i don't think i've explained like uh, how it's gonna be looking so i'm very excited to show you guys uh the the final product of that one but thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for subscribing and liking if you did and yeah i will see you guys next time see ya